But traditional welcome song greets folks inside a meeting hall on the Tulalip Indian Reservation in the state of Washington. They've come to hear stories and share experiences for U.S. Interior Department Secretary Deb Holland to consider. I am honored to be here. Holland's ancestors, like several of those in this audience, attended Indian boarding schools where students, it's now become clear, endured constant mistreatment and abuse. That's what this Road to Healing tour is all about. Federal Indian boarding school policies have touched every indigenous person I know. Some are survivors, some are descendants, but we all carry this painful legacy in our hearts. Those policies at more than 400 boarding schools were meant to convert kids, many of whom had been torn from their families, to a government-sanctioned way of life. Tulalip School closed in 1932. This building, now the community health clinic, is one of the few structures from that era still standing on this reservation, a time that is still painfully fresh in many people's minds. This one was my friend, a razor strap. This strap taught me not to feel. Matthew Warbonnet remembers frequent beatings. Another man's mother was forced to spend time in a rat-filled basement. She would always talk about how she would have to hide the corner and hope the rats didn't get her. You know, and this is at the age of three. This is a type of uh, lack of love and care that our uh, children had. Her trauma became his trauma. Maureen Kinley's grandparents were deprived of their culture. They knew their loving language, but weren't allowed to talk it. So then they, um, sorry, weren't able to share it with us. The boarding school legacy has affected countless Native Americans. I'm missing information about my own family. I don't have a language. I've been on a lifelong sort of journey to reconnect with my culture and to know where I came from. Historical information about indigenous people remains scarce to this day. It really conditions generations of Americans to really think that in, in many senses that Native Americans no longer exist. We're ancient relics of the past. The federal Indian Boarding School Initiative hopes to create an oral history of the schools. Many have called for a congressional commission to study the issue and an accounting of the many school children who simply disappeared. Native Americans deserve to know what happened to their relatives. They deserve to know where their relatives are buried. These children deserve to come home. Only truth, she and others say, will bring the healing that's still badly needed in these communities. Hendrick Sabrandi, CGTN, Marysville, Washington.